So, how did you first start picking greens or when? When I was five years old, my daddy took me. He was a green picker. Is that when you started? As I started when I was five years old with my daddy, and he learned me shiny, wild cabbage, lettuce, wild lettuce, anything that had milk in it, like milkweed, wild lettuce, it was bitter. You didn't put it in your greens unless you liked the bitterness. And planting. Back them days, Shawnee and planting and wild lettuce. Poke. Poke was, you made salad out of poke. Right. Yeah, and I just continued green picking up until I got sick about six years ago and yeah. I just haven't been green picking anymore. And you used to pick a lot and deliver All it, the time. Deliver it to the uh, old, to the older people back that you, couldn't get out and do it anymore. Yeah, people call me. I pick them greens and take it to them. Especially one of our neighbors that lived down there at Stanleyville. Um, and she loved poke. And I'd pick her a big old bag of poke and take it to her. Used her, to deliver her, name, her name was Hester Stanley. You used to deliver it through Chesapeake, too. Yes, I used to take it to people in Chesapeake. and Chillion. Chillion. And up Paint Creek. And I took greens to lots of people. Yeah. I even picked the doctor some wild greens. <laughs> took them to him. How did you uh, fix them? I just parabolled them until all the real greenness left them. Got them tender, drained them real good, and fried me a couple pounds of bacon, and put that, poured that bacon grease into a big iron skillet, and piled all that in there and let it fry. Let them fry, and I just kept turning them over and kept turning them over, and they was delicious. Yep. Made a big old pan of cornbread. You never yep. knew. There's some bunch shiny. Right here? It's bunch shiny right there. Which one? This is bunch shiny. Okay. Is yeah. This, is you that... hardly ever find bunch shiny anymore. It's it's the tall shiny, but I like the bunch, the bunch shiny the best. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And then I'd go coon hunting with Dad. Yeah. One night, we was out coon hunting. We had this coon in a coffee sack, and the dogs was gone chasing a fox. We seen a flashlight in a distance, and Dad said, oh, hell, here comes the, the game warden. Hurry up, and let's put this coon back in under this big log, and we'll come back and get him in the morning. So that's what we done real quick. We went on walking. We finally met up with the man that was a game warden. He wanted to know what we was doing. We told him that we'd lost our dogs. Our dogs was gone and they was foxhounds and we was out hunting our dogs. So he let us go. And we went back in the early next morning, got our coon, took it home, cooked it. And we eat it. Good old days, right? Yeah, it was my good old days. I just wish I could do it now. But I'm 85 now and there's no way I can do it. <laughs> 